Well, HPV stands for human papillomavirus. Um, this is a virus that is very commonly found in young people, transmitted through genital skin-to-skin -skin contact or through sexual contact. There are many different types of HPV and they can infect various different areas of the body. But in fact, there are about 50 types that almost exclusively just infect the genital area. And of these 50 types, about 15 are so-called oncogenic types. That means they have the potential to cause various different anogenital and in particular cervical cancers. Now, most of this infection is completely silent. In other words, when people are infected with this virus, they don't actually know that they've got it. Some types can cause genital warts. Genital warts are benign lesions. They don't cause cancer at all, but they can be very distressing. HPV is a very common sexually acquired infection. And you find that within the first few years of commencing sexual activity, most people are infected with at least one, if not more, types of HPV. In fact, it's so common that we often refer to it as the common cold of sexual activity. Once young people start becoming sexually active, they very quickly acquire one or more of these HPV types. Now, in the vast majority of cases, our body deals with this virus and we clear the virus from our system. Our body, our immune system learns how to cope with this virus. But very occasionally, with some of these 15 oncogenic, so-called high-risk HPV types, for some reason, we don't clear the virus and the body becomes, uh, the, the virus becomes integrated into the cell and becomes persistent. So it's very exciting when we think about what this new vaccine can do and how it can help to prevent cancer.